Welcome, I'm Mickey. Welcome to Bonfire Nation. And this is the UTV Killer. This is a 1992 Mazda Brawny Bongo. This is considered a micro truck. This vehicle weighs in at 3,000 pounds, is 14.5 feet long, and five, only 5.5 feet wide. It's four door, four seater. Now you ask yourself, how could this possibly be better than a Polaris, a Yamaha, a Honda? I'm about to tell you why. Check this out. So not only has it got four doors, it's got heating and air conditioning, windshield, windows, and comes in at around $4,500. This is a two liter inline four Mazda diesel engine. It puts out 78 horsepower with 95 foot pounds of torque. It's not a powerhouse, but it will get this vehicle up to 65 miles an hour. Yeah, and one funny thing about this vehicle is it is a right hand drive, but it has a five speed manual transmission and it starts every time. Check it out. I love this rear view mirror. It's got this sweet uh, bubble fisheye mirror on it. So when you're looking out, you can see right door towards the ground, right? It's kind of cool. And so you're gonna notice something weird about these and that's all right, cause I still like it. The front tire and the rear tire are substantially different, but this is a dually. Look at these little guys, man. They're like this big, but it is a dually. And this is a one ton, one ton truck. And one of the best features I like about this truck is the fact that you can fold down all three sides. It turns into a flatbed, one ton capacity. Now I, I, I got another video coming right after this where I went through this whole truck. I bought it right off a boat in Japan, brought it over, and it was a mess. It was obviously in construction, it was painted white, it had like, I don't know, like some Japanese on the side of the truck. It was probably using the Yakuza, I don't know, but it don't matter because Now, what we got is a UTV killer. This thing on any ranch, on any given day, is gonna outperform a Polaris, hands down. And let me explain why. So you're, on, you're probably wondering why I think this is better than a Polaris. I'm gonna tell you. When was the last time you've been in straight mud? Everything is paved or dirt roads now. Now, I'm, this vehicle does come in four-wheel drive. I don't really think you're gonna be using it very often. If you live on a ranch or if you live on a farm and you're trying to move hay, you're not cutting across fields, you're sticking to driveways, you're sticking to roads, right? So, yeah, the Polaris will go through anything. I've had one. I had to make a choice between this vehicle and the Polaris, and I got rid of the Polaris because I found myself very frequently not actually going off-road. All right, well, listen, you guys didn't come here to listen to all the technical details. You came here to see it drive. So let's roll, man. Let's roll. Come on. All right, see she starts up and runs just fine. I love this thing. And the best part about it is, man, the heater in this thing works great. Anybody that's ever gone hunting in December will tell you them UTVs are cold, man. I don't like that cold. I got me a nice 
warm truck. Ha <laughs> ha! it's kind of weird driving on the right side i'm always looking in a ditch but you get used to it after a while man it ain't that bad you know you're just cruising along having a great time Love this thing man now I tell you you can't beat it I can throw a ton in the bed of this truck hay bales engines it don't matter I put this nice bed liner on there it'll take the beating and I can jump in this and fly down the road and it gets about 45 miles to the gallon try to beat that Polaris I don't have to worry about it it's compatible with most mid 90s mazda pickup trucks the parts are interchangeable i can get parts for it and i'm not paying 500 dollars for a muffler what do y'all think do you like it i kind of love this thing to be honest with you and it can be made street legal yep i got tags and insurance on this which means i can drive it down the road legally i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And once again, thank you for watching. Enjoy my bongo brawny. I love it. You should check it out. Come back next time. We'll have a part two where I take this thing right down to the frame, rebuild it, give it some crack hay, and fix it up kind of what it is now with this nice, I put like a desert tan kind of a I'm going to put some canvas on it. It's going to be sweet. I'm going to love it. Can't wait to see you guys next time. Until then, peace out. Hey, guys, don't forget to check out the videos over there, over there, and uh, like and subscribe. Um, don't forget the notifications, and uh, let me help this channel grow. I appreciate everybody that came by.